In this tutorial, we will learn to create this 3D model. For this model creation, we will use combination of surface and 3D modeling tools. Using this concept, you will be able to create many complicated objects very easily. To receive new video notification every alternate Monday, Wednesday and Saturday, please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. Please also like and share this video. Let's start with this tutorial. Click here on this arrow and click on ACAD ISO.DWT. Then to switch to 3D modeling, click here and select 3D modeling. So it will show all the 3D tools. Then to view Z axis, click here on unsaved view and click on SE isometric. Then to shift this UCS icon, type UCS icon, enter and click here on no region so that your UCS icon will always remain on the left side. So for this model, suppose we will see front view. At first we will have to create this arc and we want this arc to be vertical. Right now our XY plane is horizontal. To make it vertical, click here on world and click here on right. So here your XY plane is vertical and grid is also vertical. Then to create arc, click here on this arrow near arc and click here on start center end. Then specify start point of arc, suppose I will click here. Then make ortho mode on. Then you will have to specify arc center point. So I will take my cursor on this side and I want arc radius to be 500. So here I will specify distance of 500, enter. Then take your cursor below, ensure that ortho mode is on and click. So here this arc is created. Then we will need one vertical line also. For that click here on line. Then click here on this end point and click here on this center point. Press escape. Then we will have to create circular surface from this curve. So for that click here on arrow below extrude and click on revolve. Then select this curve, enter, then click here on object and select this line. Then I want it to be completely closed. So specify here 360, enter. So here half spherical surface is created. And if you want to see it in shaded mode, then click here on 2D wireframe and click here on shaded with edges. And I don't want these grids, so you can turn them off by clicking here on grid mode. So here this curved surface is created. Then suppose if we see top view of this object, this curve is actually spiral curve. So we will create that spiral curve. So to create spiral, at first we will have to change our UCS to world. So that we will be able to create it horizontally. To check it properly, click here on AC isometric. Here you will see that your XY plane is horizontal. Then we will create here spiral curve. For that click here on draw and click here on helix. Then specify center point of base. So that center point will be this center point. Click there. Then specify base radius. So I will take base radius of 10. Enter. Then specify top radius. Suppose I will take it 500. That is same as the radius of the curve we have previously created. Then press enter. Then specify helix height. So I don't want any height. So specify there 0, enter. Now this spiral curve have lesser turns. So to edit that turn, just take your cursor over the curve and double click. So it will show this property window. So from here you can control your number of turns. So I will specify here 10, enter. Then close this dialog box and press escape. So here this spiral curve with 10 turns are created. Then click here on arrow below revolve and click here on extrude. 
Then select the spiral curve, press enter, take your cursor below and specify a height of 510. That is we are taking 10 more than radius. Press enter. Then to extract intersection curve, click here on surface, then click here on edit and click here on extract intersections. Then select this object and this object. Press enter. So here it is showing interference object in red color. So create interference objects, click on yes. Then zoom to pair of intersecting objects, no. Then click on exit. Then to view that interference curve, click here on isolate objects and click here on hide objects. Then select this object and press enter. Again press enter to repeat hide objects and select this object and this curve and this line and press enter. So here this intersection curve is created. Then these are individual separate curves. So we want to convert them into single curve. So for that click here on home, click here on modify and click here on join. Then select all these curves. Ensure that you are not selecting this last curve because it is very small and it creates problem to create our objects. Then press enter and maybe we will remove this object type E. Enter, select this object, enter. So here this single curve is created. Then actually we want this curve in rod format. So for that we will create some circles. Type C for circle, enter. Specify center point, take your cursor away. We will create circle of 10 radius. Type 10, press enter. Then we will need this circle one more time. So we will just create copy of it. Type CO. For copy, enter, select this object, enter, specify base point and create two or three copies. Press escape. Then to convert this curve into 3D, click here on this arrow below extrude and click here on sweep. Then select object to sweep, click here on this circle, press enter, then select sweep path. So just click here on this curve. So here it has not created rod and it has given error. So here you will see that it has given error unable to sweep one selected object. So this error is happening because here at this end if we see that the curve is very complicated. So what we will do just select this curve and we will remove some vertex. For that take your cursor over the vertex and click here on remove vertex. Again on this vertex, remove vertex. So it will get somewhat simplified and it will get sweep very easily. Remove vertex. So here press escape. Then again we will try sweep. Click here on sweep. Select this circle. Enter. Then sweep path, select this curve. Again it is giving error, so we will further simplify it. Again click and take your cursor over this dot and remove vertex. And one more we will remove from here. And again we will sweep it. Press escape. Sweep. Then select this circle, enter, select this curve and give it some time to create that object because it is a complicated object. So here this curve is created perfectly. Then we will need one top ring also. So for that we will create one circle. So type C for circle, enter. Then take your cursor over this curve. So here it is showing center point of that curve. Click, take it away, radius is 500. Enter. Then again sweep. Select this circle. Enter. Then select this circle for path. Then vertical rods. For that again sweep. Select this circle. Enter. Then select this arc. 
then I want this pipe multiple times. For that, click here on this arrow near rectangular array and select this polar array. Then select this pipe, enter. Then center point. Again, we can click here on this center point. So here this object is created. From here you can control number of objects because I will make it 10, enter. So it is somewhat simplified and you can also make it 100. So it will be somewhat complicated like this. Then click on OK. So here this object is created perfectly. And if you want to create this object, so this object is created using same concept. So I will just unhide objects. So end object isolation. So here in top view, you will see that Okay, what I will do, I will hide these 3D objects so that you will see the 2D structure. Enter. So here you will see that in top view, I have created this curve. And again by creating that surface and extracting interference surface, you can create this object also very easily. If you want to learn AutoCAD 3D from very basic level, then complete playlist is given here. And if you want to create some basic simplified objects, then video link is given here. Please like, share and subscribe by clicking here on this icon. So thanks for watching. We will again meet in next tutorial.